fish. Nice fish, Good man. one, Tommy, good oh. one. Flip the red and dunk. Nice. Who forgot the net? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that's a heck of a way to start right there. Hey folks, Matt Pachano, it's here with Uncle Josh, Tom Chemos. We're out here on Winnebago. We have high skies. We have a strong northwest wind. And we are here committed to pitching jigs in weeds with pork night crawlers. And we're after walleyes today. Nice fish. Nice Great start. start. Thanks. I'm in some help. You got that one, yeah, Matt? Yeah, I got that one. Nice. Right in the roof of the mouth. Look at that. On that pork baby crawler. That's awesome. You and know, you... that baby crawler is just the right size. You know, whether you're pitching or rigging it up on, on like a, a slow death rig, it's just right, you know? Absolutely. And you said we just pulled in this bay with rock and weeds, right? It's, it's a good combination. We've got weeds, we've got rocks, we've got good color in the water. So we should be able to do some damage here. Let's, let's go get another one. Let's do it. One great place to look for for walleyes, especially in shallower lakes like this, are going to be places with vegetation. Typically, I like to start looking for fish to be in the vegetation as soon as it starts to come up and get kind of into that six inch range. But one of the things that really seems to ignite uh, the different types of vegetation, whether it's uh, emergent or submergent vegetation, is when, you, when the carp move in to spawn. Pretty much around here that occurs uh, um, typically about the beginning of June or so. And once those fish move in, pretty much from then on until the weeds become, uh, uh, you know, as long as the weeds are growing and living, they'll hold fish. Wow, Tom, are they biting it light? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. cold front conditions, you know, I mean, we yeah. had a massive storm come through yesterday and this lake's all tore up. We got high skies. I mean, that, that's what happens. Absolutely, but I'll tell you what, this fish bit, I missed him. He, I could tell the pork nightcrawler was all chewed up. I threw it back out there. I dragged it a little bit, stopped it, and look how far. Look at the hook's coming out underneath his eye to show you how he committed to just eat that thing. There he is, right at the boat. <laughs> On the Cleo there, Matt. Oh, not a, you not changed a, up on me. Yeah, not a giant, but you know what? You know, we're out, we're pitching these weeds, and there's a few areas here that there's just real sparse weeds, and that's a great time to pull the Cleo out. And I just like to cast that out and just fan cast it and crawl it through those weed tops, and you just kind of snap it, and the fish jump all over it oh, like that one. That's a trick right there because I've never fished a little Cleo for walleyes before. And you know, it's kind of a, a Winnebago secret, but it actually works. I've caught fish on uh, Devil's Lake, fish in the weeds, scattered weeds. Um, Big Stone Lake, that's another place. Actually, Big Stone is set up very similar to this with a lot of nice scattered weeds and rock. Perfect place for the Cleo. That's a good eater there. That was awesome. Did you see that, That Tommy? was awesome. Look at that. Oh, that's, that's a, a good, good fish. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll oh man, look at what, that. That was awesome. You said, I just seen two, three pounders roll right by the boat and they're eating something and we couldn't see the forge that they were eating. And, and go ahead, what what? Oh it? man, I mean, that was a great adjustment. You said, I'm gonna try swimming it on this cast. And you, what'd you crank it about 10 times? <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going along here. We're pitching in these weeds and letting the jig hit bottom and just kind of popping it along the stalks. And in the last about 20 feet here, I've seen two different nice walleyes come up and roll. They're eating something. Obviously, they're up eating minnows. That is a dandy fish nice there. Nice fish. There he is. Another, Another one. Nice Another fish. one. Boy, you're getting on fire. <laughs> oh, these fish are fired up, buddy. They are chewing it. <laughs> chewing, chewing. Ah, baby crawler. Three inch baby crawler. <laughs> That's awesome. There's one, Tommy. Switch back to the. Uh, back to my confident bait. Yeah. The, the old baby crawler. crawler. Yeah. Boy, he smoked that thing too. Pitched it right <clears throat> in by a real thick clump of weeds. Picked it up once, dropped it. Fish just tattooed it. It's an awesome way to fish walleyes. Shallow summer walleyes in the weeds. Doesn't get any better than that. Real good, good fish. Good fish. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh. Nice Look at that fish. Beauty. What a nice fish. You called it, Tommy. You said, I'm getting a big one before the sun goes down. 
<laughs> uh, did you remember the net, Matt? Uh, I forgot it, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's owning me. You definitely hooked well. I don't know how many more chances you're gonna get though, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish, buddy. Does it get any more basic? A weedless jig and a little baby pork crawler. That is a nice fish. This has been an awesome day today. Yeah, Nothing it is. better than pitching in shallow water. Oh, artificials. Nice eyes like this, eh? It was a blast. To check out all of our fine pork products and all of our products, go to UncleJosh.com. I'm Matt Pachanich. This is Tommy Kimos with Uncle Josh. Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back.